Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a little bit about the new Retro Arcade Creator on Splutter.com. If you're familiar with Splutter.com, uh, you'll know that uh, we have several creators, and this creator uh, is a little different from the other creators in that it's got a little bit more complicated menu system. Uh, everything's not right on the top um, where you would be able to access it. So uh, I wanted to walk you through these menus so you understand how to use them all. Um, when you start out the creator, you're going to see a very simple uh, initial menu uh, with two buttons, uh, a Create and Play. Uh, the Create button uh, obviously allows you to create your own game. And the Play button will allow you to play the game that you're actually working on from start to beginning as if you were playing it on your public game page. Um, and down below here you'll see uh, a prompt um, that uh, tells you what to do with certain buttons as you mouse over them. So keep an eye on that. When I click the Create button it takes me to my Create menu and down here you'll see the Create uh, the menu title which always appears at the bottom. Uh, of all the menus and then uh, you'll see arrow keys here on either side um, which allow you to navigate through the menus uh, system. So if I click back, I go back to the main menu, I click create again and go to the create menu. Um, the gray ones here, that means they're not active. That's because I haven't started making a game yet so I can't edit, save, save as, or share because there's nothing there yet. Um, there's only new and load and uh, new obviously lets me make my uh, new game and load lo allows me to uh, load a game that maybe I previously worked on. So uh, let's start by just clicking New and you'll be taken to the Levels menu. The Levels menu allows you to create game levels um, and uh, you can create up to nine levels. So the way you add a level is you just click the plus button here and you'll see uh, a little, uh, little icon here that uh, has the number one in it and that's your first level and there's no actual visible icon yet because there's nothing in it. So if I click on it, I actually go inside it and uh, I'll see uh, something here that says stages. And uh, a level is composed of stages and uh, you can have up to nine stages. So like I said before, you have nine levels and up to nine stages and you don't have to have um, nine, you could have less than that, um, but that's the maximum. And, and the same way that you add a level, you can add a stage inside the level by clicking the plus button. Uh, it's a little different here. When I click on the plus button, um, I see a little chooser come up, which allows me to choose the world that I want to add. And you can choose, basically when you choose a world, that means uh, you're going to have different uh, textures, different uh, uh, objects in the game um, that compose a different style of world. Right now we have two worlds in, the, in here, and we'll probably be adding more in the future. Uh, I'm going to just choose the uh, forest world for the first one. And you can see there's no icon yet either uh, because there's nothing in it. So when I click on it, I actually go to the actual sc uh, screen where I can edit the play field of that, of that stage. Um, and you can see right here, at the bottom left is a back button. I'm going to go back and show you here. Now we see a little icon that shows clouds. That's because we haven't added anything else yet. That's all you see. If I click back again, I go back to the level. Um, and if I keep going back, I go back to Create menu, and then further back, I'm back at the Create and Play. Now you can see the Play button is active, because I can actually play that game. I wouldn't last very long because there's no ground. I would just fall to my death. But um, it's there. So I click Create again. I can now um, edit my game that I was working on. I can add more levels by clicking the uh, plus button. Now I've added a second level. And uh, if I wanted to, do, to rearrange a level, I could actually click and hold and rearrange levels just like this. Just like if you're using an iPad or iPod. And then it won't actually take any effect until I hit the check button. Click and hold and then click, uh, click check. Now if I wanted to get rid of this level I can press and hold and then press the X button and it's gone. And if I didn't want to do that, if I made a mistake, I can click X here and it's, it's back. But I'm going to press and hold and then press on that X and then check and now it's gone. Same thing with stages. I'm, I'm inside my level one and I'm going to click plus to add a stage. And oops, maybe I wanted to use Cave World or I didn't want to add that. So I'm going to press and hold, press X, So here's my first level I clicked on there and now I can, uh, I'm, a, I'm sorry, my first stage and I can just drag and add some land. And uh, over here, uh, this green arrow allows me to test it. And there's my first, 
not really a game yet, but my first test. And if I add stages, maybe I want to add Cave World for the next one. A little different. And here's my first cave. Maybe if I wanted to have Cave World first, I could press and hold and drag it over. And I can go back and I can actually play the game to test it out. Now I'm testing it as if I was actually playing it. And now I move on to my next stage. And at any time I can click this pause button and quit and go back to the main menu. Thanks for watching.